Text. There's no disrespect, so when I bust my rhyme, you break your necks. We got five minutes for us to disconnect from all intellect and let the rhythm affect. Obstacles are inefficient. Follow your intuition. Free your inner soul and break away from tradition. Cause let me be out. Cause you pullin' weed out. You pullin' never be tired. We got me in the Are we gonna practice? Can we take a picture with him? Yeah. Okay. Will you take a picture of us? Yes. Oh, that's really good. You wanna run the two songs? No, I mean they're fun. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. That's amazing. Okay. My name is Bernadette Valdezion. I am singing with artists in residence, and I've started with them um, fall of last year. My freshman year, um, I did university chorus because I had always been classically trained and that's what I was used to. And um, it was fun, but after a while like it kind of got, it got to be the same thing and it was kind of, it wasn't really personal, it was like a 50 person choir. I had not really done it before, I mean I sang with a a cappella choir in high school and most of the stuff we did was magical but I remember seeing a cappella groups on Cal on, on the Cal campus and it was just it was so cool to see that they could sing popular music in a style that I thought was always reserved for classical or um, things not <laughs> popular from what I can remember I from early on I was listening to a lot of oldies a lot of like Motown uh, you know, stuff from the from the 50s to the early 70s, and, uh, and then I started getting into more folk kind of stuff. I was really into Simon and Garfunkel for a while. Uh, I also listened to a lot of choral music, actually. My dad introduced me to this group called Chanticleer. They're actually based in San Francisco, to the 12 guys who sing. They have sopranos and they have basses. I mean, they're all guys, but they have an incredibly wide range and repertoire, and so I've been going to their shows for years now and they just astound me every time I watch them. There was a pretty big scene around San Francisco then, kind of a whole West Coast thing. So my friend and I, another one of the tenors from the choir, always came and checked out all the shows like uh, Impact and the House Jacks and a bunch of kind of mid-90s, those guys. House Jacks were awesome. Yeah, so I, I caught them a lot when they were playing at Freight and Salvage and stuff like that. So I always wanted to do that. And uh, the high school group, the Troubadours, always a tradition, it was like the small the good small group. My sister was in it, my brother ran it for a while, so it was kind of a family thing too. And that took off into the college stuff. I think a cappella is really popular uh, um, in college just because of the kind, you don't need very many resources to do it, you just need a group of people and their singing voices. I also think that a lot of it has to do with it being so creative where you can kind of like, you know, just take this song that you hear on the radio and really just make it your own, which I think a lot of I think that's a lot of what college is about, kind of finding your own way, and it's cool how you can take something so familiar and just kind of mess it around, make it your own, and it's just a really fun creative process. I mean, collegiate a cappella is just something that it's I always see it as kind of a release. I mean, that's why I love air so much, is that it's given me something else to think about. And it's, it's a stress reliever, not, and this goes the other way. I mean, performing is obviously very cool if that's what you enjoy, but just um, on the other side, I know that people watch acapella because it's fun. I mean, you have to have like, you know, popular songs that, and just to hear it in a different way without instruments and without you know, professionals and to hear like, you know, drum sounds coming out of somebody's mouth. It's really entertaining and it's, it's a lot of fun and especially just, you know, watching people and like there's always that, that dynamic of, you know, people are just having fun up on stage and you know, there's, there's choreography and there's, I don't know, it's just, it's entertaining and just, it takes you away from, from what college is supposed to be about with like school and academics and sometimes you need that. All you need is love. 